forecast in the Ozarks. Welcome back everyone 545 on a Tuesday morning and in the past 12 hours or so we did pick up a little snow here in the Ozarks. Most of us saw about a dusting, but if you notice there are a few areas where we have some darker bands, mainly for our northern counties. Uh, parts of Miller County, that darker bands where we're seeing that there are still some roadways partially covered there. And then to the south near Harrison, we did see quite a bit of snow. And then over to the west, they did as well. We did set records, though. You're going to wake up and be like, this was disappointing. <laughs> it's melting really quickly this morning as temperatures inch closer and closer to that freezing mark. But we did set new records. Springfield, almost one inch. We officially received nine tenths of an inch. That broke the old record of three tenths of an inch set back in 1916. And Harrison in Arkansas officially picked up one and a half inches of snow yesterday, breaking the old record of one inch set back in 1976. Currently in Branson, we've got the fog, little bit of roadways that are wet, but no major concerns right now. 32 degrees, calm conditions, just the fog's going to be your major issue for this morning as visibility is reduced across the area. Along I-44, Fort Leonard would Rolla, Camdenton, all less than three miles. Um, visibility's less than a mile in Springfield and Branson and Harrison. Make sure your lights are on. Give yourself a little extra time and be prepared for that. Temperatures, it's really close to what the wind chill is right now. Winds will pick up as we progress into the afternoon, but it feels like it's in the mid to upper 20s out there. Go ahead and bundle up. You're going to want to have that winter stuff, the winter gear ready and handy all week long. But there is a change coming. I promise there's a change coming. We did have that storm system overnight push off to the north, taking the snow with it and the rain out to the east. What's left over? Maybe a few flurries for our extreme northern counties near Versailles, probably seeing a little, um, little moisture. Warsaw, maybe a little rain right now. So for your AM commute, I will give it the yellow light because it's going to be foggy and possibly a little slushy in some of those low lying spots. By this afternoon, four or five and six, green light is just going to be cold and it's going to stay cold. Here's what future cash shows clearing from west to east, but it's going to take some time. This is at 1130 AM. Our western counties will see some sunshine by 5 PM. Probably going to see some sun in Springfield, but the sun goes down about 504, so that will be short lived. As we move into tomorrow, mostly clear conditions. We're not going to warm Warm up much, but it'll look nice out there at least. <laughs> we got that going for us. For today, we are going to reach uh, close to 40 degrees. More sun out to the west. You'll probably get to 40 in places like Stockton and Joplin. Overnight, clear skies, low 20s across the area. I want to draw your attention to a warm up. As we progress into the weekend and next week, this jet stream is going to kind of flatten out. That cold air is going to move off to the east, and we're going to see a warm up with low pressure moving in for Thanksgiving. We're still a long ways out. But right now it's looking like temperatures will be in the low 50s. We will see that chance of rain and uh, temperatures warmer, though. That's good news. Warmer and chance of rain around that Thanksgiving mark. As we progress this week, guys, it is going to be cold. 30 degrees and teens for the overnight lows. Oh, man, it is way too cold for the middle of